Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I'm doing a special video. Uh, one of the perks of the growth of our channel, we're being contacted by different manufacturers from all over the world and they're introducing very innovative products. I was contacted by a company called Dawey, D-A-W-A-Y. They sent an email with a, a, a link to a saddle that had an integrated light. And so I was curious because I wanted to see it. So they asked me to do a review and this is it. Um, when the product arrived, as excited as I was to see it, I felt kind of slighted because it's not a product I can use on my current bikes. It doesn't mean it's a bad product. I'll show it to you. This is, this is the, else is a little wider. You can see the saddle. It's got a light in there. But I was like, man, if only, you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to contact Dawei when I'm done with this review and, and hopefully try to get an inside footing into helping them design stuff for our market because there is a market for this saddle. It's a big market. City riders, you know, you know, the cruisers, the old bikes where people sit upright, right around the neighborhood. It's excellent. Look, look at that. That's moving. I'm going to push it again. Before I get into the review, flashing light, exactly like what Paul, you see Paul and I using. I'm going to put a picture of my setup. What I like about this is it's integrated into the saddle. Let me bring it closer to the camera. Look at that. It's built into your saddle. So we're having to put straps under there. The cool thing about something like this is that I could probably put a patch kit under there. Right now, the way I, I mount my light, I have to put uh, my patch kit in my pocket. That wasn't the only reason. I just prefer to carry my pocket, but I'm saying this gives you more options. It's built in and it uses the CR2032 little coin battery that we use for the Garmin and everything else we have. The, the heart rate strap that I use uses 2032. So I was like, wow, great. This is all great. And I'm thinking, but I can't use them because now look at the size of the saddle. So I went, you know me, I went and weighed them. This saddle weighs almost 800 and something gram. I will put the picture here in post-production so you can see the actual weight. 800 and something grams. Our saddles like this that we use currently, this one weighs probably, I believe it was three something. You'll see the picture. Uh, this one ended up like 340 something. This was a little over 300 gram. This ended up, this is my wife's old saddle that she doesn't like. This ended up being the lightest one at two something grams, 200 and something grams. Um, even a saddle like this with a light in there would work. I'm not sure why they've only, I'm hoping that they have other products. If they don't, I'm going to try to get an arrangement with them, an agreement to get our channel hooked up so we can help them with the design for saddles that pertain to our market. So yeah, that way, this is a great product. I'm going to start with going through the review, but the reason why I started the video this way is I was hoping that this is something I could just put on my bike. Yeah, you know, they ship it with a 12 millimeter open-ended wrench, which is fine. It's for these bolts, these bolts on the side. Let me bring it closer to you, to the, to the camera. It's for these bolts. So if you're mounting it on a cruiser, it would just go ahead and slip. You can see right here, it would slip on the seat post and then you tighten these. Now, nothing stops you from removing this whole assembly and using these rails on your bike, but at 800 and something grams, it's almost three times the weight of the saddle I have on my bike or probably you guys use for our market. So I'm like, what are we, Dawei, chopped liver? It's time you design stuff for us. So yeah, this is a great product. If you, and then it came with a cover. It's a nice plastic cover. Uh, we cover our saddles when we travel with our bikes on the rack because it's outside, like especially when it's raining. We've been using like a plastic bag on it. We just cover the leather saddle so you don't get there and sit on a wet saddle. That's the reason. So this is a nice cover that they threw in there. I mean, you can get covers for your saddle if you want it, but I thought it was a nice touch. The material here is kind of a uh, leather. It's almost, I wouldn't call it canvas. Very durable and a lot of sponge, a lot of foam on there. And for our kind of riding, we don't like a lot of stuff. So it's like, they have ignored our market, but you know, like I've always said, I don't want this channel to be an elitist channel. There are people that watch this channel 
that are just getting into cycling, that are riding bikes that have these saddles. There's nothing wrong with them. And that's why I said after I'm done with the review, I will be sending a, a letter to Dawe because I want them to design something for our market, for people who do a lot of cyclo touring, a lot of grand fondos and whatever. For, for these kind of saddles, these shaped saddles, I would buy one. Or even they can work with SMP and the other guys and get a light integrated in it. It's a great idea. So let me walk through the product features that I think will work great if they built a light for these style saddles that we use. And for all the people who ride these, like if you ride a cruiser, even if you don't ride a, a, a cruiser that has a seat post that goes in here, you can remove this assembly and the rails will be available for any bike. But I'm not going to put 800 and something grams. That's almost probably two pounds additionally on my bikes. I mean, my bikes are already pushing to 20 pounds. So that will add another two pounds. So I was just like, man. And then the shape of the saddle. I don't care for this shape for the kind of riding I do. These are great if you're sitting upright on a cruiser at the beach or in the neighborhood. You know, just recreational type riding. And I think that uh, there are a lot... There are a lot of riders that use this. And so, yes, they have a big market. I will put the link to Dieway in the description of the video so you can check out the other products. They make other cycling products, other tools, and the price points are very good. Uh, I will list the price point in here in post-production, but uh, you can tell they know what they're doing because look at the shape of the side here. It's shaped really well for your leg. I like the length. It's not very long, the nose. Let me turn it this way. But the back, the shape of this back does not suit me that, that well. I tend to do better on these kind of saddles. They're really narrow. That's just the way my sit bones are. So they need to give us more variety. That's what I'm getting at. The idea is fabulous. So um, they also need to include uh, some instructions, even if it's a little card when this thing shipped. I mean, I'm an engineer. I can figure stuff out. But the, the average person will not be able to. I will show you with the other one. When it came in. They have a battery compartment under here. I want to show you that for those of you who will be getting some of these. There's a little ridge on here, a little ridge you can push back and then you open that. But it's not very easy to open. So what I did was I used this screwdriver and just lifted this tab right here. If you see that, it's open. There's the battery the battery sits in there. It comes with a battery already in there. I hope you can see that. There's a battery sitting in there. Now, they had a piece of plastic between the battery and its contacts in there. It wasn't very easy to see, but I kind of suspected because I've worked with a lot of electronic products. When they're stored in the ship, they don't want the battery to be active. Then it gets to you all used up. So the, the, the plastic that they had in there was this thin. That's what I took out. Okay, and then it had something with a little arrow. You can't see that when it's in there. But I, what I did was I used the screwdriver. There is a, by opening the lid, the contact point has a spring and you just kind of squeeze it and it falls out. But it would, it would be a little cumbersome for the average person who doesn't play it with a lot of products all the time to, to, to get to know that. So it's nice that they ship a second battery. So you got a second battery out of the gate. I don't really know how long it lasts. Uh, I will look at their Amazon site in post-production and see if the links are there with more details. So I will put the links in the description so you can check it out for those of you who want to get them. But I thought it was really nice. They shipped it with an extra battery and a 12 millimeter open-ended wrench that you would use to secure. You see how this moves on the rails? This is an additional fixture for those stand, you know, cruiser bicycles that the seat posts go through here, go through there, and then you, you tighten this to hold it in place. So if you were putting it on a bike that has a seat post like we have, you could loosen this, take this entire assembly off, and just use the rails. And you can see the rails are marked. They have markings on the rail that will let you set your fore aft. I thought, well, that's really cool. So, um, after getting the battery activated, there's a little button under here, small button you just push. The first phase is that, it cycles through. Second one, you got 
full blink. I would use this like during the daytime or on a cloudy day. Now it's steady. Then it's off. Nice. I like how it's integrated into the saddle. So the concern for me to design something like this to work with these kind of saddles they would have to get a little more creative because look at the size of this frame under here. They would have to get a little more creative in how they built that and only use what is necessary to get that light to work because the frame houses the battery compartment, that plastic frame. I'm sure it could be designed and scaled down a little smaller. The size of the light doesn't really matter. You guys can see I'll put the picture of the light that I currently use is maybe this big. It's, I'm interested in the intensity of the LED that they choose. That would make a difference in how the other road users see us. That's pretty bright. So the, you can see this frame is longer than even the lighting. So for a saddle like this, it could shorten it. These are the things I will work with them on. I would suggest and just offer them a proposal and see if they're willing to consider our market because our market is big. Right now, they're limiting themselves to even though it's a good sized market to just people that use heavier bikes or cruiser bikes at the beach or cruiser bikes they use around the neighborhood or city bikes that you just run to the store. You know, it's a big market out there. Don't get me wrong. So I wanted to introduce this to the channel anyway, even though um, most of you faster riders may not use that. You may have a second bike or have a spouse or a friend that uses a second bike that you may want to incorporate that in. That is really neat. Um, I'm going to, the, the second one that they sent, this is, they call it, let me get the battery just fell off of this one. They call this the C99 light saddle. That's what the, the branding model is on that one. Let's see what they call this one. Okay. This is shaped a little better. This is C66 light saddle. So that's the model size. This looks more like for guys, it's smaller. You can see. See how wide that is? Um, I don't subscribe to the fact that women need necessarily larger saddles. My wife confirmed that. She doesn't care for a special saddle. She uses just a saddle because I think uh, it's been proven through research that sit bones are sit bones. Women have wider hips, but they don't sit on their hips. They sit on the issue of pubic rumbas. And the sit bones, the issue of pubic rumbas are the same men and women SMP has proven that in SMP saddles, they only change the color because women like more color choices. That's it. The, the saddles are essentially the same. This is a smaller footprint. I did weigh this as, as well. It's maybe about 180 grams lighter. I'll put the picture there with the weight in post. So it's slightly lighter. It has the same attachment that comes with for the cruiser bikes. You can always remove that and use the rails. The rails are also marked. The rails are also marked. Okay, so that's really neat. So this at 600 and some grams is twice the weight of our saddle. This is three times the weight of our saddles. So this is more doable in this form. You could probably use it. I just, for my hip, my sit bones, it's too wide for me. I, I, I mostly, I can use something like that. You can see the footprint there. Okay, but... This is not a bearing on the product. The reason I'm doing the review in this manner is that I'm, I want them to see the potential markets that they are ignoring currently, even though there is a big market for this product. So for the market for this product, it's an excellent product. I mean, it's, this is nice. This will work for a lot of riders. 600 and something grand. Doesn't feel that bad. So a little over a pound. This one. This one is 800 and something grand, so it's closer to maybe one and three quarter pounds. When you think about it, that's not super heavy, but we have a lot of weight weenies in, you know, among serious racers that will, that will be a concern for. And I'm going to propose to them that, okay, you got a great product here. You got a good market here for it. Why don't you expand now and get the rest of the cycling market? I mean, who wouldn't want an integrated light in there? I'm having to attach lights on there, charge them up and all of that. So maybe they could do something to where it could even be rechargeable. Those are the kind of things I want to work with them on. So I'll send them a proposal. Hopefully they'll jump on it. Maybe they can get on the channel as a brand, uh, one of our brand sponsors, and we can kind of work with them and get 
better products for us. That's, that's one of the, the reasons that I, I think that this channel is best used for to expose people to not only cycling tips, but innovative products that are out there. So this is one of them. Now, uh, when it comes out of the box like this, you get this tool is taped to a battery. That's what fell. One of this, an extra battery. My gripe was, okay, on this one is easier to see than that one. When you take it out of the box with this one here, the C66, this is much better. You can see a little plastic thing sticking here. I hope the camera picks it up. And then here are the ridges to open this compartment. So as you pull this compartment back, now this is easier to access. On this one, because of the design of that bottom of the saddle, it was harder to get to the battery. So I had to use the uh, uh, screwdriver. So it's not the end of the world. This one, I really like that. They're getting closer to something that we all could try to put on our bikes because this is only twice the weight of our current saddle. Now, you open this compartment. I'm trying to, yeah, it's like a little door. And there's the plastic that you pull out. I'm going to pull it out. The battery fell out. That's fine. It's the first time I've done it. That's what would happen to you. You can see the contacts in there. This is what you push for the battery to fall off. Right here on the side, there is a contact point here. When you push that, the battery comes out. But basically, the battery goes in facing up, the positive side facing up. You push that in there, close the door. There we go. You're ready to go. I like the, the feel of this button. There's a small button here, right there. I like the feel, very tactile feel, which means you can be riding, reach back there and control it. And what I usually do is I put my hand behind me when I'm riding to make sure the light is on because it reflects on my hand when you're riding. That's what I usually do. Very nice. Very nice. So that's why I was upset. I'm like, you send me this great product, but then it's for maybe my city bike or my cruiser bike. You've ignored the gravel bikes and the, uh, the, the bikes that we commute on for faster riding per se, where we're conscious about weight or even racers or amateur racers or whatever. That's a huge market. So maybe they're just getting into it, but that's my goal is to get one of these designed in these style saddles, even if it comes in at 400 grams, because I went and weighed these saddles just to see what we're dealing with. And you, you, by now you've seen the pictures of them. I'll probably just put them back here. But these saddles are coming in around 340, 220 grams, whatever. This one was like two something. Both of these were over 300 grams. It's a little, you know, less than a pound. This was like two something, which is about a half pound. So a half pound. So even if it's, if it's 300 or even if it's 400 grams, because right now this one is six something. That's twice the weight. So you get it around 400 grams. So you can see how they integrated the, the shell. Let's compare the two shells so you can see what I was talking about. This design of this saddle required that they use a bigger shell to hold that light. Look how much smaller this shell is to hold that light. They could even design a different shell for a saddle that would accommodate people with smaller sit bones. They could design smaller, smaller shells. So that way, this is a great product. Uh, could I use it today? Yes, I could. But it just adds so much more weight. And then the shape does not suit my, my, my sit bones. So we need more selection of the saddle widths to be able to jump on this product. That's what we need. So that there is a market for this. This will work for a lot of people because we have saddles. You can see how close it is to the saddle that I took off my wife's bike. Look at that. Okay. So it's not out of the ballpark. I'm just saying that they need to give us more selection in their repertoire for these integrated lights. Right now they're teasing us with this great product. So keep up the good work. I wanted to share this with you all. Those of you who are interested in getting the products, the, the link is in the description. Check it out. They make other great cycling tools and other products, but I will be reaching out to them to try and work with them to bring more variety for us because I really like this product.
Okay, this 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 just necessitates the lack of me needing an extra attachment to my bike if they made a saddle that fit my sit bones with a light built in like that. Because you know I'm an advocate for us being visible. So they're headed in the right direction. We need more of these kind of products. So no matter what, get your K's in, check out this product, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting more from them in the near future.